if you haven't seen matter change in front of you, I manifest that you will and that you won't be afraid of it. Please scroll on if you don't want to hear this. I know this video is going to go to exactly who it needs to go to. Some of you are going to know exactly what I'm talking about. My entire life, I've had weird stuff happen to me that I couldn't explain. And especially when I was a kid. It's like I would have premonitions or what I thought were premonitions. I now see things differently. Just stupid little things like I knew a glass was going to break, like fall into the sink and break, and it would. Just stupid little things like that. And it happened so much that after a while, I, would, I started telling people about it. But when I tell people, it wouldn't happen. So I'm like, okay, I can't tell people about this. Nobody's going to believe me anyway. That's why I don't expect people on social media to believe me. People always want to explain it because we only believe in what we see. I realize what happened now. And it's nothing to be scared of. It's how your mind works. Like over the past few weeks, what kept going through my mind was the phrase energy grid, energy grid. A whole bunch of stuff related to energy grid and about how we're all connected. Then across my feed came Lee Carroll. He channels a being he calls Cryon. Now, now when we talk about channeling and people channeling all this stuff and, you know, some people talk about archangels or other other beings that they channel or whatever. These aren't things to be scared of either look within even i'm just telling you i'm just relaying information to you i want you to look within that's what i'm trying to tell you the power is inside you and i'm just relaying my story of how i found that for myself i'm not claiming to be an expert i've just put together a lot of information and you are seeing this for a reason the algorithm brought this to you for a reason you decide for yourself go within it's all about your brain it's all in your mind okay um, I manifest that your pineal gland will be decalcified and that you will be completely healed and that you will understand what I'm saying, that this falls into the right hands. He said that we live in a magnetic universe. Now, I had never heard that before and I was, it all clicked together. He's the one who completely blew my mind. I had no idea that the poles shifted. There was a pole shift during 9-11 or after 9-11 because of the collective outpouring of compassion around the world. That affected the unified field of consciousness. That's the download I've been getting. Like, we are totally all connected. When we talk about all these beings, let me get back to that. Because I'm about to mention Pleiadians, okay? I'm about to mention some stuff that I don't really usually like to talk about. Because I'm going to be honest with you. People want to talk about all these alien races. And I keep seeing all kinds of theories. And I want to tell you something. Think for yourself. Because even all that is in the Matrix. A lot of that. Look, think for yourself. Please think for yourself. Don't don't get caught up in what race you think you belong to. It's look, they are still putting images in your head. You have to go back to source. Do all these races exist? Maybe, maybe not. You could exist as a race way higher than even them. You got nothing to worry about. Might there be some beings or angels, demons, some people call them Pleiadians, Arcturians, Guys, you are a multi-dimensional being so much higher than even that. So you need to think for yourself. That's what I mean. It's, a, it's about us gathering information. I'm just here to gather info and just spread it on. Just like he did for me. And your mind draws it in. Certain things, like when I say matter, I hope you see matter shift in front of you. Okay, the reason like things wouldn't happen when I told people was because it would have affected a timeline. It would have it would have been a plot twist that wasn't supposed to happen. It would have been a plot point. God is the ultimate writer, the ultimate creator. I am. He spoke, I am, and it, here it is, okay? At least according to the Bible, which was manipulated by man, you know, like, produced by man, to make sure that, you know, especially a lot of us, like, we get saved, if you want to call it that, and then suddenly religion comes along and just smacks the joy out of us with a bible that was published by man that had some truth in it i love you too much to, to lie to you okay i'm i used to believe like you if you were offended by what i just said but what i'm trying to tell you is this there's a theory you know you'll hear pleiadians or anybody who mentions pleiadians you'll hear talk of a living library that that's what the earth is that and you'll talk hear akashic records pretty much the same thing like you have access like like, some of us are more tapped into that than other people, naturally. Like I remember specifically a glass breaking in a sink when I was probably six or seven years old. And I remember thinking, I knew that was going to happen, and it did. I see now that I made it happen. 
it wasn't really a premonition. It was a premonition based on the fact that it was it was my higher self. It was God. It was God telling me from the other side that my mind was doing this. It was a whole string of stuff that has led to this at now my age of 48. <laughs> now I see how it works. Like, I'm going to just tell you a few specific instances and I just want you to not be scared. Start small because you'll see people, I've seen people try to do like telekinesis. Um, look, if I had shown people that I could do this with my mind as a kid, like I did mention something about it to my dad before he immediately went to the demon thing, you know, like thought I needed to, anyway, there's nothing demonic about it. It's just how the universe works. Your mind is a magnet. We were tricked by these fallen entities to, they've tricked us into creating all this for them. Okay, this living library, like that's why it is the way it is. It's, it'll make sense at some point, but it's a it's an energy grid. And Cryon, Lee Carroll mentions this. Jesus talks about this. It's all, like, like there's just so many mentions of it. Here's what happened to me today. And I don't even care, I don't care if you don't believe me. There was a set of keys that I put somewhere and suddenly like I went I went to get them and there was only one key. I was like, well, that's weird. I'm not going to go into detail, but I'm, it's just it was odd because that key had never been off the keychain. And it doesn't even make sense for it to be off the keychain, but there's just this one key sitting there. And I'm like, well, I lost the rest of the keys. That's really weird. How did this happen? Because I'm the only one who touches those keys and I had not done anything to them. They are sacred to me. I'm OCD about the keys. I put them in the same place every time. So suddenly there's just one key. Well, key on a key ring that has like five keys on it. So I take that one key and I hold it sacred. I'm like, what in the world happened? But I really didn't think too deep into it. For as a content creator, when you've got a bunch of videos to make, like you can't always afford to let your imagination get out there. That's why I don't DM do DMs and stuff. I can't afford to let my emotion, my consciousness get taken up by something. So I didn't let myself overthink the key thing, okay? I went about my business, did something else, came back with my single key. I was just about to start the search for the rest of the keys when suddenly there appeared where they were supposed to be the rest of the keys. I Look, I, I don't even want to talk about it really because you wouldn't believe me. I don't even care. This isn't even about me. It's, it's about you. I just pray, I manifest that this will happen for you and that you won't be scared of it because it can happen for you and it's not evil. Look, that was God's way of just getting my attention <laughs> because I needed to have my attention got. And I was like, why a key? You know, that's weird. Like, is there some message, some kind of significance to a key? And then I was, as I'm thinking that to myself, I look down and here's a book I wrote called Your Imagination Key that I forgot about, that I've been really been reminded, Spirit has really been reminding me lately, get that back out. And I could tell you where to buy a copy if you want one, but you really don't even need it because I'm going to go over on this channel. This looks probably like the dumbest thing you've ever seen, but this is how it works, guys. This is you. This represents you. This generic user, user photo. Abundance flows to you. This works on your reticular activating system. You just saw abundance flowing to you. You saw it in a very remedial, very simple way, but you saw it and you can never unsee it. Abundance is flowing to you. Abundance flows to you all the time. You can't even stop it. You're stuck in the flow. You see that? This workbook has all kinds of stuff like that. And I'm not trying to get you to buy anything. Like I said, I'm gonna go over the whole thing here. It's called Your Imagination Key, but that is how we manifest, anyway. I want to tell you about another experience I had like this a couple months ago. This cobweb like hanging on the back of like a railing and I just had this thought. I'm like, well, why don't I see if I can just shape that with my thoughts, like make it dissolve, make it go away because it's some stupid little thing that's not going to affect anyone else's plot line. Like I said, living library, you're living out a story. You are a character in a story. Like rest in peace, Dolores Cannon. If you follow her teachings, she said that the that what they tell her from the other side is that we come here to experience everything like we think there are 12 different races and all this i come from a crazy time when they used to say this thing called there's only one race the human race even in college they used to teach that sociology class they would teach that they don't i don't know if they teach that anymore but when you start talking about the races even like the alien races you're still talking about lower dimensional stuff 
What if you're of a dimension higher than that? You just forgot. Anyway, I pointed at a cobweb and I just thought about it. I said, make the cobweb go away. And I just thought about it with my thoughts. And the cobweb went away right in front of me. Because it was a stupid little inconsequential thing. And I'm sure if I had my camera out, it wouldn't have happened. Because if I'd put it on social media, other people would see it and call me a witch. In fact, I mean, people are going to see this now and think I'm crazy for putting it out there. But whatever. I'm... Look. Uh, this isn't about me. People have always thought I was crazy. Whatever. This is about you. I, I pray that you will see man, matter shift in front of you. And that you won't be scared of it. Start on a small scale. Because it only affects your timeline. It only affects your story. God is the master storyteller. When I talk about God, I am talking like a law of one universal consciousness. Christ consciousness type of way. Anyway, um, it's time to ascend, guys. The time is here. It's exciting. It's time to imagine the new earth together. I'm telling you, I know. Look, I'm not the only one who has to do it. Look, just sit and just imagine world peace. Imagine it with other people. Imagine what that feels like before you go to bed tonight. And who knows how you'll wake up tomorrow. Look, I'm telling you, it's we can imagine world peace. We can shift this. The power is all in our minds, collectively. We are here for such a time as this. Some of us are here to do this right now. That's why we came here. You have no fear. It is spoken, it is written, and so it is. Amen.